Hello and welcome back to Candidate Top to Bottom. Today will be particularly relevant to you if you are a citizen of the USA or Mexico and are looking to come to Canada temporarily. We're talking about the Canada, USA and Mexico Agreement, or CUSMA as it's more commonly known. This used to be called NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, but became CUSMA in 2020. CUSMA is part of Canada's International Mobility Programme and is the largest free trade region in the world, aiming to generate economic growth and help to raise the standard of living for the people in all three member countries, not least by expediting the work permit application process. The agreement opens up the trade markets in these three countries and attempts to ease trade by abolishing tariffs and other trade barriers. It's important to point out here that CUSMA does not facilitate permanent residence in Canada. It deals only with the temporary entry into Canada of selected business people who are citizens of the US and Mexico and who are involved in the trade of goods or services or in investment activities. That being said, it makes working in Canada much easier for citizens of the two countries and despite the fact that it's called a trade agreement, you don't need to be working in trading or trading goods to qualify under the agreement. If, whilst working in Canada, the American or Mexican citizen were to be offered a full-time position by their employer, they would be eligible to apply for permanent residence and benefit from receiving points for arranged employment. If they qualify as a skilled worker permanent resident and follow the entire procedure, then they will receive a permanent residence visa. And even better, in an effort to make movement between the three countries as smooth as possible, under CUSMA there is no requirement for employers to have a positive labour market impact assessment or LMIA, which is usually required for those seeking to work in Canada. In addition to this, business visitors do not require a work permit either, and citizens of the US are exempt from the requirement for a temporary resident visa. Within CUSMA there are four major categories which allow people to come to Canada and work. These are business visitors, professionals, intra-company transferees and traders and investors. Let's talk about each of these categories in turn. For business visitors, the following requirements apply. Applicants must be citizens of the US or Mexico, be taking part in business activities which are international in scope and have no intent to enter the Canadian labour market, which the foreign national or the employer can demonstrate by establishing that the primary source of remuneration and principal place of business remains outside Canada. The business activities which are covered by the business visitors category of CUSMA are research and design, growth, manufacture and production, marketing, sales, distribution, after sales service, advertising, tourist operators and interpreters. Typical examples of business activities include, but are not limited to, consultation, negotiation, discussion, research, participation in educational, professional or business conventions, or meetings and soliciting business. Business visitors are authorised to enter Canada for business purposes only and do not need an LMIA or work permit. However, they must apply at a Canadian port of entry as an application cannot be made prior to arriving in Canada. For a full comprehensive list of the activities which are included under the business visitor category, click on the link in the description box below. Because of the nature of the activities of a business visitor, the duration of their stay in Canada will usually be short term. However, business visitors may be able to seek entry to Canada for a number of regular short visits related to a specific project over a period of weeks or months. The next category is professionals, which refers to business people who enter Canada to, to provide pre-arranged professional services in the field where their experience and qualifications lie, either as a salaried employee of a Canadian enterprise, through a contract between the business person and a Canadian employer, or through a contract between the American or Mexican employer of the business person and a Canadian enterprise. To be eligible for the professionals category, the following requirements apply. The applicant must be a citizen of the US or Mexico with a profession recognized in the CUSMA agreement. They need a qualification to work in that profession and have pre-arranged employment with a Canadian employer. This will require documentation such as a signed contract with a Canadian enterprise or evidence of an offer of employment from a Canadian employer. 
There are 63 occupations covered by the agreement, some of which are accountant, computer systems analyst, engineer, land surveyor, librarian, social worker, dietitian, physiotherapist, registered nurse and geologist. Again, for a full comprehensive list of the activities which are included under the professionals category, click on the link in the description box below. This shows a complete and final list, so if an occupation does not appear on the list, it is not a profession as defined under the professionals category of the agreement. Here you can also see the minimum education requirements and credentials required for each profession. Workers in the professionals category do not need an LMIA, but they do require a work permit, which they can apply for at the border or at a visa office before entering Canada. Initial work permits under the professionals category can be granted for uh, durations of up to three years. After this, extensions can also be issued in increments of up to three years with no limit on the number of extensions, providing the individual continues to comply with the requirements for professionals. However, it is important to understand that officers must be satisfied that the employment is still temporary and that the applicant is not using CUSMA entry as a way to get around normal immigration procedures. The third category in the agreement is intra-company transferees who are employees in a managerial or executive capacity or in a role which involves specialised knowledge. The employee must fulfil the following requirements. Be a citizen of the US or Mexico. Be seeking employment in an executive or managerial capacity or one involving specialised knowledge. They must also be transferring to an enterprise that has a qualifying relationship with the enterprise in which he or she is currently employed and have had continuous employment in, that, in a similar position for that company outside Canada for at least one year full time in the previous three year period. So in more simple terms, the worker must be employed by an American or Mexican enterprise which has a branch, subsidiary or affiliate relationship in Canada. The employee is being transferred to the Canadian branch to provide services in the same role. Intra-company transferees do not need an LMIA, but they do require a work permit, which again, they can apply for at a port of entry, or alternatively, they can apply at a visa office before departing for Canada. In this category specifically, US and Mexican citizens can also apply for intra-company transferee status from within Canada after being authorised to enter the country as visitors. With regards to how long intra-company transferees can stay in Canada, a work permit issued at the time of entry can have a maximum duration of three years. However, individuals authorised to enter Canada to open an office or to be employed in a new office should be issued an initial permit for a maximum period of one year. Extensions can be granted for a duration of up to two years if the person continues to comply with the requirements for intra-company transferees. The total period of stay for a person employed in an executive or managerial capacity may not exceed seven years and the total period of stay for a person employed in a position requiring, requiring specialised knowledge is a maximum of five years. The final category under the Canada, US and Mexico agreement is traders and investors and applicants will be granted either trader or investment status but not both. Traders are involved with trade in goods or services between the US or Mexico and Canada and investors have committed or are in the process of committing a substantial amount of capital in Canada. Traders and investors must be employed in a supervisory or executive capacity or one that involves essential skills. To be eligible under the traders category, an applicant must meet the following requirements. Have American or Mexican citizenship the employing enterprise has American or Mexican nationality, the activities involve substantial trade in goods or services, the trade is principally between either the US or Mexico and Canada, and the position is supervisory or executive or involves essential skills. The requirements for investors are similar to those of traders. The applicant must have American or Mexican citizenship and the enterprise must have American or Mexican nationality. Substantial investment must have been made or is actively being made and the applicant is seeking entry to Canada solely to develop and direct the enterprise. And if the applicant is an employee, the position is executive or supervisory or involves essential skills. Traders and investors do not need an LMIA, but they do require a work permit. Although citizens of the US and Mexico are technically permitted to apply for a work permit either at port of entry 
or at a visa office, traders and investors are strongly advised to apply in advance at a visa office due to the complexity of the application. In addition, US and Mexican citizens who are granted temporary resident status in Canada are also permitted to apply for trader status from within Canada. The initial work permit for a trader investor can have a maximum duration of one year and extensions may be granted for a duration of two years provided that all requirements continue to be met. Again, the full details of exactly what is required for traders and investors can be found by clicking on the link in the description box below. And the final thing to mention, of course, is that regardless of the category, each worker entering Canada must comply with existing immigration and admissibility requirements for temporary entry. Okay, so there it is. Everything you need to know about the Canada, US and Mexico agreement. Let us know if you are a US or Mexican citizen and thinking of going to work in Canada. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. See you next time.